Hello everyone, this is a demo for a new alarm console in a 20.4 build. The appearance of the alarm page is now very different. The changes affected various components from a general view to unique customized filters, so let's get started. As you see, the changes were at the top of the page. You are able to see not only summary for alarms by criticality, but also for top 10 devices, groups, technologies, where you can check the most critical uh, devices, groups, and technologies. Uh, and top five SLAs, uh, which shows compliance of SLAs and non-compliance by default. If necessary, you can hide the summary to uh, see more alarms. So you can hide it and you will work only with these alarms. You can filter them and so on, but you cannot see summary. You can show it again anytime without any issues. Uh, in this 3-dot menu, you can find a lot of actions. Uh, some of them are for the page in general, and some of them are for devices. Uh, for page in general, as I said, we could hide summary. Also, we can hide top 5 SLAs only. If I hide them, I will be able to see only top 10 devices, and I can show these top 5 SLAs again. Also, I can show historical here. I will see all the alarms which were created here. I can also filter them, for example, if I want to see only alarms which were created after the October 1st, I can do this filter and I will see them. Let's go back, hide historical. Uh, we can include invisible alarms here. We can set them as invisible if we don't want to see them. For example, we can check this major one. Uh, we can set invisible here or set invisible here. I cannot see it, but if I include invisible, I will see this again. Let me uncheck it and exclude invisible again. <clears throat> you can export these alarms uh, to Excel file. Also, you can edit columns on this page. You can add more columns or remove them. For example, if I want to add acknowledged, I check it, apply. And I can see this column here. I also can uncheck it. And I cannot see it. Some of these actions in this three dot menu are for alarms. For example, we can check few of them and accept them, assign to somebody, and assign, uh, mark them as acknowledged, um, set visible and invisible, as I said before. And I also can set custom. Uh, this set custom is for custom fields. We have these columns, column one, two, three, four, five, where we can add our own notes here. For example, I want to set custom to these alarms. Um, I want to see Julia 1, Julia 2, and Julia 3, and let it be test for the In After a few seconds, I will be able to see all these notes here. After a few updates, they're here, and I also can see them in the details. In the details, I can see all the necessary information. There's alarm messages, alarm type, alarm ID, prop which connected with this alarm, device details, metrics, and history if necessary. Let's close it and go ahead. Okay. So you have a lot of columns right now. We can sort them and also we, uh, we can sort them with this arrow and also we can filter them. So for filtering, we we are able to see all the columns here, which are included to this table with uh, edit columns in three dot actions menu. If I want to see, for example, only props, which are CDM props, okay, I will see only CDM props without others. If I want to add something else, not only this parameter, for example, if I want to see CDM props and um, um, let it be memory, for example. Alarm message starts with memory. We will see this. Memory is the first word of the alarm message and CDM in our prop. 
Also, we have extended filter, this custom filter. Uh, these three options are for different levels. For account level, if you want to create some filter for account private, if you want to create um, some filter for user, only for one user, and public, if you want to if you want to be able to open this filter from every account which is connected with this. Uh, if you want to create one or two or more, you should click on edit filters, but for check, I think, okay. Yeah, edit filters. So here you can choose which uh, level you want to use, public, private, or account. For public level, let's create one. Mm, let it be prop is oh let it be, is not CDM. So we will be, we will be able to see all the alarms which uh, which are not connected with CDM prop. I will create it. Let's check the public demo one. And these are net connect, RSP, VM bar, and other props not CDM. Okay, let's close it. There was public. So let's check with another account. I go to alarms in my Julia user in account one. I can see it here. So it works again. We can see not net connect props, RSP props, not CDM. Let's close it and let's try to create one private for this user, for example. Let it be demo to private and message. Uh, okay, let me start with uh, test because I can see test here somewhere. So let's create it. Um, private demo to test. There's desktop and other things, so we can use it here. This is demo two. Let's try to find it in administrator user. Go to the alarms page. Go to custom filter. In private filter, we have no demo two. In public, we don't have the same as well as in account level. So that was only for private level, and we were able to use it only in Julia account. Um, also, in this extended filter, we can use more options. What I'm trying to explain, we can have demo 3, for example, and we can choose uh, alarms where prop, for example, is CDM or, or AND. AND will be the same as, we, as if we add view filters at the top of the alarm page, few blue filters. And or if we want to have different conditionals to see alarms, for example, we want to we want our prop to be CDM or we want to see something where message starts with um, I'm not sure that we have these messages, but let it be test. Let's close it. Let's try to use. Okay, we can find CDM prop and maybe, yeah, we have alarm messages which are started from test and they're for net connect prop, not for CDM. So or is working here and this is not end. Okay, let's close it. Um, we have one more functionality uh, connected with ACL and filters. Let me create one more user, for example. Um, let it be demo. Uh, I want him to be administ no, not administrator, the operator maybe. Okay, account one. Uh, first name, demo. Let's create. Not here. Okay, so we have demo, which is our operator. So let's check that we are able to go to him. Demo. Mm 
Okay, we're here. We can see these alarms. Nice. Let's log out. Let's go to our settings account admin. Uh, ACLs and LDAP. Here we can see new tab alarms filter. And we can create some filters for users, uh, I mean, for ACLs, for different, for different users with different ACLs. For example, I want to create for operator, yes, because our demo is operator, so let's create it for him. Um, for example, I don't want to see, I don't want to see props which are cdm not prop not cdm okay let's update it operator has been updated let's go to our demo user okay alarms uh, let's 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 check props here. Yeah, let me check. Ah, uh, again, something. Yeah, wait, let me check it with administrator. Okay, let's do for another because a little bit administrator, for example. Administrator, I don't want to see. Oops, this CDM. Okay, go to. Okay, it works now. Something went wrong, but mm -hmm. okay. So in this account we are not able to see cdm props right now only net connect rsp so if we try to find it here uh, somewhere here equals cdm we'll be not able to see anything because there are no alarms with cdm pro so this is about alarms updating thanks for your attention and have a good day.